Hey everyone, I'm Mark DeGrasse with the In the Garage podcast by CarParts.com. I'm here with Richard Jang, and today we're talking Fast and Furious, along with uh, a bunch of vehicles and subcultures that you've been a part of. So, uh, what time did you realize, or when did you realize you had ADHD, of cars? Um, it probably started right around when I was 15, 16, that driving age, just nice. barely getting into it. And um, my first car, 1991 Honda Civic, $500. Love it. Uh, my dad pulled some sort of deal to get that. Um, learned how to drive in that car. I didn't really do much except fix that car, huh? thank God. <laughs> then came like a, I don't know, some 19, 1995 Mazda Protégé nice. manual. That's where my love of manual kind of came from. I was like, oh, I really like this. Like you get to figure control. out and do whatever. Yeah, you get to you get some, some sense of control, right? Um, and then... I moved into something that's very JDM, very, very fast and furious, mm. the uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse uh, nice. GST. And that is actually where um, I started breaking a lot of things because I was driving very aggressively. And um, that is where I learned how to fix a lot of things. Nice. So um, Fast and Furious was definitely the root of it. Um, that was a car inspiration. You know, the, car, the first, you know, that, that lime green with the, the little eagle livery across it. Oh, yeah. That yep. was, that signature, was incredible. signature. So... Um, yeah, all the way through through Fast and Furious, uh, Tokyo Drift. That was that was that was the vibe. That's fantastic. Growing up. Well, yeah, that, that, <laughs> the, I've, uh, kind of a similar story. I had a '93 Eclipse, base model. Yeah. 80 horsepower. It looked cool though. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters. That's all that matters. <laughs> oh no, that isn't all that matters. <laughs> I was that car was such a dog. But I was so committed to like not spending very much money to make it faster, and oh, it's. Okay. Uh, you know, you can only do so much with a with a four banger that's yeah cranking out nothing. Uh, but that's awesome. That's that's a neat progression. Uh, let's talk Fast and the Furious because I, I think it's funny. I actually watched it again recently uh-huh. to be like, man, uh-huh. was it that good? And then I watched it. I was like, oh, this still makes me like cars. Like even I think now. probably the first three. There are some very cringy moments. Oh, so where cringy. like you look back in retrospect and you're like. Mm, this is not as enjoyable as I really like. Oh, the, the dialogue. And yeah, this is general. very like, just like stiff and like, uh, but then like the cars come in, right? And then it makes everything okay. Oh, well, the Eclipse little... is special. Yep. I remember him with his laptop. Oh, and, yeah. Oh, let me do some calculations real quick yep. as I'm driving. <laughs> yep. You had some signature cars. You had the Eclipse. You had the Supra. You had the Charger. That the has Jetta. As like a, yeah, yep, yeah, exactly. The Jetta that didn't have any brakes. Have you seen that meme? No. <laughs> so apparently when they're lining up for race wars, there's a side shot of the Jetta next to, I think it's uh, Johnny Trans S2000. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's and there's actually no brake calipers on the Jetta, and it's the front of the car. But, you know, props be propping, I guess. <laughs> ah, I guess they forgot to print out that part. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they pasted it on the side of yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> so there's, there's a couple things that I've picked up over the years where when you watch the movie again, you're like, wait. Something isn't quite right about this scene. Yeah. There's How about when they oozy a car in oh, like yeah. the middle of the night and it's just like, oh, well, you know. Chinatown, you know. Chinatown. <laughs> That's nobody, nobody goes there. <laughs> That's what happens in Chinatown, I guess. <laughs> no, but it was still, I, I think the culture was there. Yeah. Uh, which I think it was what everybody resonated with. That yeah. There's this giant community and they're all supporting each other even though they all kind of hate each other at the same time yeah it's it's the love and hate relationship it know? is it's the brand war it's the ford versus chevy it's the uh i don't know what else we got uh honda versus uh everybody everybody <laughs> <laughs> um yeah nobody likes v-tech <laughs> yeah exactly exactly um and then you had uh, i think there was there was an element of kind of race wars in there too yes the race wars um, is neat just like well i mean race wars is in like the asians versus like the, oh no the, that's the, not the, the caucasians like yeah know, a little bit well a little I mean, bit. in the 90s it was still kind of a little uh, polarizing it right? was like yeah but even then it was still coming together in the the love of cars yep. and yeah one thing to unite us all yes <laughs> yeah well and the tech i think for me it was like i never really considered how technical the cars oh, were yeah and then once I, I saw that, I was like, oh, wow, there's a lot to this. A lot of engineering, yep. uh, a lot of, you know, science, which, oh, is, yeah. which is neat. Is, yeah. that, is that the kind of side that got you interested, or was it more just the <sighs> racing fast cars? and vehicles? Racing fast cars, for sure. Like, that the appeal a, of it was just like, oh, like, I want to be that guy that has the fastest car in high school. The one that knows the most about cars. Yeah. The one that, you know, everyone can come to and say, oh, like, I really like this car. Like, can you help me fix it up? And I think that's that's where my... I ended up owning some, I think it's 30 some odd cars by now between oh, wow. cars, motorcycles, trucks, whatever, is I really wanted to own everything. Mm. And then for somebody to come up to me and be like, hey, like, 
I know you own this car. What did you think of it? What were the pros? What were the cons? What had like, what were your issues? And I would just like rattle them off like very casually, like, Oh, this fuel pump has an issue or like, you know, this timing phaser or like whatever, you know? Oh, I love that. Yeah. Well, it's, it's uh, something you could be interested in and know a lot about and uh, get results with. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. And, and break sometimes. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Break is uh, the main word there. Yes. Um, I had a 2000, six uh z06 oh, nice. corvette um like probably two weeks into owning it uh two of the main bearings uh on the crankshaft actually spun together as one um just basically stopped the entire rotating assembly just, just the car went to put right there grenade. um me being the brilliant and uh financially literate person that i am Spent uh, about fifteen thousand dollars building a motor for that car nice top to bottom full everything and then I just sold it right after because it's like, oh, like now it's too built. Now it's not fun to drive. Now. Oh, I think you take everything to the limit, right? Yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I've done all I can do with this. <laughs> yep. And so now I'm moving on. Yeah. Now, with that said, 30 cars, what's your favorite one? I'm going to have to go with my uh, my my car right now, uh, the Ford Raptor Gen really? 2. Yeah. Wow. Um, it has the most utility. It has a good amount of power. And I can just go rocketing through the desert at like, I don't know, 60, 70 miles an hour. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's still super fast on the street. Too, yep. So. Well, yeah. Not as fast. But it's, it's, a, it's a truck it's still, still a right? Truck. But yeah, it, it, it does all right. That, that, that right. That's not what I expected you to say. Well, what were you <laughs> expecting? I don't know. You, know. you listed so many cars. I'm like, Because ah. after, after the Ford Raptor, it was definitely the uh, Z06. Okay. I loved that Z06. And it was everything that I wanted a car to be. Except Chevy's interior is just oh really they just, just interior not good like it's just like very Feels plasticky funny. very like creaky like you're you're like uh, putting your hand on the armrest and it's just like making all sorts of noises yeah uh, but beside that that car ripped I loved that car oh that's awesome yeah mine was the the G actually mine's my current car too I have a three and oh, okay so, yeah and I actually got me back into cars which is oh. what I was celebrating because I was I had my Eclipse and I had G thirty five and uh-huh. I had a uh 08 wrx sti okay i didn't like that one. Oh no <laughs> no i hated it okay. that was my least favorite car okay uh and then g37 and if i dealt with this car i'm just like I mean, it's, it's fast it's comfortable yep uh it has a lot of tech oh, you yeah. know quiet oh it's, yeah yeah it crosses all the boxes okay so on that subaru note actually so i grew up in utah I'm born and raised in salt lake city um snow is something that comes oh, and visits yeah. every year so I've actually had probably five, I think five or six WRX and STIs. Oh, nice. Um, just like buy one stock, put an exhaust, put a tune on it, sell it for profit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. And you Those were able to flying. flip them. You yeah, were able to flip them so easily because it's in Utah. Every, you know, parent's trying to look for, you know, all-wheel drive car that's like safe, has a little bit of like cool factor. And then um, naturally that was the, the first pick, so... That was easy, easy pickings for me. I think that would probably would make me like it more, but yeah. there was just the one I got. It was the first time they did the hatchback. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, yeah. It just had a lot of roll, and I was like, I can't. I don't feel. And then the, I think confident. the 08 was the narrow body, right? You had the narrow body STI. I don't know. And it, then the 2011, I think they went to a wide body. I, I, well, maybe it was an older one then. It was the hatchback, and it was the first model they did that was the new version. It should be, yeah, it should be was like that, that 08 09. No, it must have been 08. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, it, I mean, they're, 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 they're okay. Well, it was between that and like an Evo. Oh. And so. I should have gone with the Evo because I drove that too. I was like, oh, the my Evo gosh. The Evo 10 or the 8, 9? I was used at the time. If it was 2008, it must have been like an 05. Oh, okay, or, Evo 9. Yeah, something. So I've actually had um, three Evos as well. Have you? That's, 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 yeah. <laughs> you just went so, all over the place. Yeah, so, so all-wheel drive in Utah kind of went hand-in-hand. Hand. Um, and I've it's be, between the three Evos, I had one that was a built motor stock turbo, a completely stock one, and then a 700-horsepower one that was wow. a huge turbo, built motor. It was it was a nightmare to drive on the street because it's like... Trying to peel such a, out. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it's just such a small, like, displacement. So, like, the drivability is, like, kind of bad when you're just Not, putting along. Yeah. But then once you get to, like, that 5,500 RPM, thing puts you back in your seat, 40 pounds of boost, and you're just flying down the freeway. Next oh, year, flying again, and it's, like, an easy way to get in trouble. 
Download the CarParts.com app and accelerate convenience with access to over 850,000 auto parts at your fingertips. We make it easier to find the parts you need, anytime, anywhere. Get it now on the Apple App Store and Google Play. J.C. Whitney is back. The original auto parts catalog, a garage staple and cultural cornerstone for over 100 years, is now a magazine. Whether you're a newcomer or a longtime gearhead, J.C. Whitney instills confidence by delivering expertly curated auto parts and a gateway to engaging community experiences, entertainment, resources, and inspiration. Learn more about the new J.C. Whitney at jcwhitney.com. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, um, that is a temptation. <laughs> I actually got pulled over one time because that 700 horsepower Evo ran on ethanol. And I got pulled over by a cop, and the cop goes, um, like, he, he came up super aggressive. He's like, oh, like, Everybody, put your keep your hands where I can see them. Like, don't be reaching anywhere. I was like, okay, like, relax. Like, and he's like, why? He walks up. He's like, why? Why do I smell alcohol? Uh, and I was like, oh wait, <laughs> alcohol? Like, none of us have been drinking. Like, we are all dead sober. Like, no issue there. And I was like, oh, it must be the ethanol. So I was like, officer, you're not gonna believe this, <laughs> but this car actually runs on ethanol. And he's like, what? What is? What is that? And I was just like, oh, um. Co- corn fuel i guess is like the easiest way to describe it and he was like what get out of the car (laughs) (laughs) and so he goes he goes okay i'll i'll be right back and he he takes my license goes back um at the time i had just bought the car so no registration no insurance nothing and (laughs) he comes back he's like I have something more important to do, so um, just slow it down. And he throws (laughs) me my license and he leaves. I'm not dealing with this crap. (laughs) So luck, very lucky there. But that was like the most Fast and Furious vibes thing that I've ever had in my entire life. Just like being stopped by the cops. Cops didn't really know that much about cars. And then like it was just like, yeah. And you got out of the ticket. Got out of the situation. That's (laughs) fantastic. Now, I had a a friend in high school that had his uh, dad's Porsche. And this was oh, in the late that, 90s. That's dangerous already. Yeah, so we went to a, a water polo game. I think it was, uh, must have been in Santa Margarita. Uh, I okay. went to school in Anaheim. And so we were coming back. Or I wasn't in the car with this one, but he had five other kids in this Porsche. Yep. And he was going so fast that he actually passed three cops that just couldn't catch up to him until eventually they got him. Oof. And then, yeah, that was that was a lot of trouble. Oof. But his dad knew the mayor, so. Oh, you know. Lucky save fine. there, huh? <laughs> Very lucky save. He had okay. lots of those. And I'm like, holy <laughs> crap. Like, what? okay, fine, whatever. But, uh, yeah, now it's uh, – that was the most Fast and the Furious, uh, you know, probably situation yeah. I even heard about live. So <laughs> don't do that, kids. I'd say – Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Go one to of my, One of my buddies actually <laughs> – very recently, probably three, four years ago, um, he did a YouTube channel uh, where he was showing off his, I think it was a Challenger SRT. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he got like some Mustang. Uh, he put a blower on it and he was running around filming all these YouTube videos. Um, the cops actually came after him legally, um, put him in jail for a little while and then shut down his entire YouTube channel. Like he had to take everything down, but everything was so well documented, like exactly how fast he was going, like <laughs> where he was at the time. That, like he was blazing up and down the toll roads in uh, OC. Oh yeah. So like very easy to identify, very easy to you know, get in trouble for. So um, <laughs> yeah, he, he is no longer into cars anymore. Yeah. <laughs> that that no, got taken away. <laughs> yeah. That, that'll, that'll do it. Getting put in jail. Yeah. <laughs> they'll, yep. they'll solve the need for a little bit at least. They'll yep. probably be back. Just do it on a racetrack. Yeah, that's the other thing. Yeah, so so I definitely advocate for racetracks. Um, I don't know if you've been to any track days. No, no, um, well, no. Not, okay. Well, I haven't driven. Not any on the eclipse days. No. Days? Never. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was underground. I was. Uh, where oh. was it? San Bernardino. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. Um, no, but definitely uh, for racetracks, um, I've done you know track days, uh, motorcycles and cars. Um, very much so fun and very much so worth the, I don't know, it's probably like $180 to get in now yeah. at like Button Willow or Willow Springs or Chuck Wallet. Like very, yeah, um, very worth it. Very fun. Um, and just very much so safer. Yes. Paramedics. Yeah, well, you don't have to, you know, you still get that adrenaline rush because yeah. I think that's really what you're after yeah. or, or what I found that I was after. Was yeah. just Actually, like, a couple of years ago, I think they did race wars in San Bernardino. Did they? I think so. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, like, they, they lined everyone up. They had, like, they tried to basically recreate Fast and Furious, Fast where and there Furious. was, like, you know, a concert aspect where, like, people yeah, were like, partying, people, people were racing hot cars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> basically. Okay. So, you know, yeah, hot, hot important nights yeah. for sure. 
Like that was the vibe that, that they were was... trying to recreate. Yeah. No, uh, that's that's super cool. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's nostalgic. It has uh, you know kind of Bernie Man vibes in it yeah. too, which is fun and you don't have to go that far yeah. that was the funniest part of that movie was, was like oh they're on an old air force base that apparently nobody goes to <laughs> i think that air base is actually very close isn't yes, it yes it's like ontario or yeah. something <laughs> like it's like down the street yeah. there's lots of people there yeah so but we used to go my dad used to take us to the pomona racetrack and so we'd oh, see okay. the drag racing and yeah you know that was fun yeah, that was actually before nhra this last weekend yeah. there yeah Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I got to go again. My, my uncle's still super into it. I actually sent a video from me at SEMA because I was like, oh, hey, check okay. out this drifting that you can't even watch because yep. there's smoke in the way. <laughs> Have you been in a drift car yet? No, not no? really. Oh, it's very it's very fun. It looks fun. You have to trust the driver and you have to hopefully know the driver at least so you can kind of get a sense of like how dangerous they are. Yes. But it is very fun being thrown side to side in the car. Yeah, and until very you know how so. to do it, you probably don't even know that that person's <laughs> screwing up left and right. Yeah. <laughs> He's a perfect. <laughs> it's good enough for me, right? You're just getting thrown sideways. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, I think that's an awesome uh, backstory. But with all that said, uh, what is your favorite subculture that you've been uh, kind of involved in? Just in general. doesn't have to be your current one. Can I get some examples? Uh, well, you got overlanding, okay. you talk about drifting, mm. street racing, uh, JDM. I'm going to go between desert racing, like fast desert paced racing. desert racing. Like rally? Um, no, trucks. Like, trucks. Like okay, uh, right. King of the Hammers okay. type, um, like where they're mobbing through the desert at like 110, 120. Nice. They stop, they crawl some rocks real quick, and they're back to doing 110, 120. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's awesome. um, it's between that and then uh, the motorcycles, for sure. It's the motorcycle. Um, the cost benefit of being oh, on a motorcycle is just, you can't win otherwise no. well and for the speed that yeah. you get out of it you're yeah. basically in but like a also very dangerous everyone very very dangerous be safe yeah wear doing? all the gear be be very wary of all the people you're that are driving around you yeah it is very dangerous but it is so fun it is i think <laughs> i well actually i i rode in uh when i lived in downtown la i okay. had the uh, uh, 650 sv650 uh-huh. and so i was splitting lanes then but then then we got pregnant my, my oh. wife and i and then i was like that, that seems you're to not be... allowed to do that anymore <laughs> but now i'm older and the kids are getting a little older i'm like i think it'd be fine back on the bike you go back huh? on the bike <laughs> <laughs> i'm thinking about electric bike now but now okay. i'm like the electric bikes are like thirty thousand yeah. dollars or twenty thousand yeah. dollars they're like have you ridden one no oh okay it? Um, the, I will say the best electric motorcycle that I've ridden so far has definitely been the Harley Livewire. Really? Which is very surprising. Huh. That is surprising. But it is such a good bike. Hmm. If it wasn't the range just being like 110, 120 miles, Thank it would be through. an excellent motorcycle. That's awesome. So is yeah. it the, the weight ratio or like, it, does it just feel solid? What's... The feel just feels exactly like an internal combustion engine feels like, hmm. but all you do there's all no t- there's the no torque. clutch there's no uh shift oh, yeah, you right shift. so you're just hard on the throttle and then brakes like that's it that's pretty cool but then you know it's a motorcycle right so you can hit a corner balance is good you can throttle it out and you just take off out of the corner so you can do corners too that's pretty cool yeah, yeah. that's kind of what i'm looking to do because i'm you know yeah <laughs> it seems Definitely. like you'd be able to concentrate more and then it's safer right yeah yeah there you go so <laughs> makes sense to me yeah so definitely between those two those have my heart at least right now okay so uh how about favorite car Ooh, that's too well, i know hard. you said the f1 you know, no, that's you said too the hard F1. of a yeah that's too hard of a how about uh, favorite question. next car how about uh you have so the favorite fifty thousand the uh, <laughs> and, 15k no no 50 50 and that's for getting the car and doing whatever upgrades you want which car would it be that's my current situation oh okay. i bought i bought the raptor for like 48 and, and then i put in yeah two grand worth of like just little bits of suspension and oh okay we're so you're living here. the dream yep living the dream oh, that's fantastic. but i want the new one. Oh, the new, new one. one but that's a hundred grand so it's a little ah, bit of a price a job yeah. <laughs> yeah you get used <laughs> yeah. yeah for sure but um no like less people are now asking like favorite car it's now the two car solution ah so oh, that makes sense have, so yeah, yeah, yeah yeah daily yeah. driver and yep. then your your project so, ideally one's ford raptor of course utilitary right uh and then the other one is a 992 Turbo S. Oh. Yeah. 700 okay. horsepower, all-wheel drive in a Porsche. Very luxurious. 
you can cruise it around town, but then if somebody tries to challenge you, you just womp them. I love that. Yeah. Well, it's, it's shockingly affordable in terms of like fast cars. Is the Porsche is slightly better? No. No. The, the Turbo <laughs> S. I think they're right now 992s are right about 275. So oh, I wouldn't lot. say that's no, no, any no. level no, of like affordable, of... but like <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of older Porsches, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> Two seventy five, yeah. Yeah. I think uh, you know, we were talking earlier about like, you know, a hundred thousand used to be a lot of money for a car oh, and now it's like nothing. 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 That's... You have to buy a pickup truck for a hundred dollars. Yes, that's what you get. You get yep. a pickup truck or you know, whatever. <laughs> but uh hopefully it'll come down soon. We'll yep. see. Well, thanks a lot, Richard. This has been a ton of fun. Uh, do you put your cars on a website or somewhere where people can see them? All I really put them on is Instagram. That's Instagram. it. Oh, yeah. Okay, there you go. What's your yeah. Instagram? Instagram handle is at R-J-I-A-N-G underscore. Perfect. All right. Everybody check that out. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thanks this for having me. It's been a ton of fun. Got to talk about Fast and the Furious, yep. million different vehicles. Uh, I'd say that's a <laughs> successful episode. <laughs> you agree I yep. like that. all right everyone that's it for this episode uh tune in next time we'll probably be mentioning fast and the furious at some time again in the near future so don't miss it cool. oh, that was great